What's going on everyone? Good morning. Edwin here from The Proverbial Life. This morning I want to talk with you all about this idea of having diverse leadership at the church. I've heard it said that a church isn't functioning the way God intended for it to function if there isn't diversity in the leadership. In the leadership. And I want to explore that idea briefly this morning and ask the question, is that true? Does a church have to be diverse in its leadership in order for it to be a, uh, a sound church? Now, obviously, we know in the area of theology, a church could be sound, but in practical aspects, we ask this question. Is a church truly uh, adhering to the heart of God if they don't have diverse leadership and and i i don't think so i, I think let, let me let me be clear I, I don't think a church is obligated to have diverse leadership i think in god's sovereignty he's the one who adds to the church he's the one who puts together the body of christ now i would say this where leadership is at the church where the leadership at the church is being discriminatory uh, for someone who is a qualified candidate, then that is shameful and uh, irreproachable, right? That, that's something that does not bring God glory. And uh, But the simple fact of just adding diversity to the church because it looks good and that's the right thing to do, um, I, don't, I don't find in the Bible, I don't find in the scriptures. Uh, I think we have to be reminded that God is the one who adds to his church and there are certain qualifications for anyone who's going to be a leader in the church according to 1st Timothy chapter 3 uh, Titus chapter 2 uh, and so uh, just because someone sees themselves as qualified doesn't mean they are qualified and just because someone feels that they should be in a position of leadership doesn't mean that God is desiring them to be in leadership. Um, you know, again, 1 Timothy chapter 3, there are certain qualifications that a leader must have. So, you know, I've heard it said, well, you know, the church doesn't have any, you know, urban theologians there and they don't have any black or Hispanic you know, pastors there. And the answer, I mean, the, the, the question is, and, you know, and if the church doesn't have any blacks or Hispanics or Asian pastors, should we force that? Should we force that to uh, give a picture to everyone that we are a diverse church? Um, I don't think that's good, right? I don't think that's that's right. I don't think we should force anything. And I don't think we should be deciding if someone is qualified for a position under two categories. One, if they meet the biblical qualifications, and two, if they're a person of color. I don't think anywhere in scripture, nowhere in scripture is that given to us as a, a model for how we choose our leaders. I don't think we, we, we are called by God to choose our leaders based on ethnicity. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always leery, you know, and I, and I don't know this. I'm, I'm not members of these churches, right? But I'm not a member of some of these churches. But I'm always kind of skeptical about a church that has, you know, the Asian guy on the, you know, on, on the computers running the sound and, you know, black guy doing urban ministry and the Hispanic guy leading the Hispanic outreach ministry and you know and all these subcategories in our churches and, and my thing is look like we just need people who love God who love people who are called by God in the sense that they're biblical, biblically qualified and who want to do God's will. And if they're Asian, great. If they're Latino, great. 
If they're white, great. If they're black, great. Just give me someone who loves God, right? Like, just give me someone who has a passion for the things of God, who who's striving to walk in holiness, who's who's loving, you know, husbands that are loving their wives like Christ loved the church. And God is the one who selects the leadership at the church. God is the one who raises up elders. God is the one. The church are the people who recognize what God has already established. Okay? So if God doesn't want someone to be an elder at a church, and the church wants this individual to be an elder, guess what? That person's not going to be an elder at that church. We need to let God do what he does. Right? God is the one who selects. The church is the one who confirms what God has already amen. And, he, and, and the church does that by way of looking at the word of God. Okay, so, so if you're a person of color and you have not uh, been ordained at your church, don't assume that it's because of racism. Don't assume it's because of whitewashing, that your church just has something against you because of the color of your skin. Uh, no, maybe your home isn't in order. And they see that and they recognize that as leaders. Maybe you're not faithful in attendance. Uh, maybe they're just observing your life to see. Maybe you're a person who's, you know, a quarrelsome person, right? And so we need to submit unto the leadership that God has given us in so much as they are submitting to God and his leadership according to the word. And we need to trust God that if he has us be in a place of position that it is he who elevates us and not us or not we who elevate ourselves it's so important and let's not be so quick to make rash uh, you know charges against our brothers and say well it's because of this and it's because of that where it is because of race then we need to call it out where churches are being intentionally discriminatory towards someone who is qualified and they're not hiring them because they're black or because they're his, uh, uh, Latino or Asian, then, then there's a problem there and that must be confronted. But where that is not proven, we cannot assume that that is the case. So that's all I wanted to say, y'all. Love y'all. Grace and peace. Hope you have a great day. Let's get it for his name's sake.